Hey everyone, Valiant Blaze here with Soul Purpose Gaming. Just wanted to bring you a little bit of the gaming news. Right now, I'm going to talk about Project Morpheus and VR as a whole, its virtual reality, and my take on will it succeed. All right, as far as financially goes, I think it will succeed financially for uh, for Sony, anyways, just because the uh, Wii, the original Wii, if you look at it, it didn't have a whole lot of graphical power, didn't really have a whole lot of third-party games, you know, it didn't have any of that support, really. Um, but it sold great, and a lot of that reason was because of the uh, the gimmick. You know, people had never seen that before. You know, moving your controllers around and stuff, and it made the commercials look really neat and stuff, and, you know, kind of futuristic, like, oh, look at me, you know, I can, you know, sling my stuff away, you know, and... uh you know, we're going to call these controllers nunchucks and stuff and sounds cool. And, you know, now we're slinging our controllers, our TVs instead of on purpose. We're doing it by accident, which is great. Um, <clears throat> that's all great and all. And, um, you know, see what you want to say about it. But it did sell great because of that gimmick. And I think virtual reality has a lot of the same thing going on. A lot of people have never seen that before. A lot of people have these uh, crazy expectations of what it's going to be like. And they're like, yeah, man, it's going to be like I'm actually there. And a lot of people are into that. And I think it's going to really sell because of that. If they can keep the price range between 100 and 150 bucks or lower. Because if it goes above that, I don't think people will pick it up. It'll be just be way too pricey. It won't be worth it. You're not going to have a whole lot of games for it. It's basically going to do what the Kinect did, which is basically sit there and collect dust. Um, you know, not hating on Xbox or anything like that, but their Kinect, even though it was it was all right in certain times, especially the the, uh, the new Kinect is great. But the older Connect, eh, not so much. You know, a lot of people. Like, I don't think I don't think I know anybody really used it except for one guy, and he knows who he is if he's watching this video. Anyways, <clears throat> so I think it's gonna sell well, but I don't think it's gonna perform that great. And I think it's mostly gonna sell based on gimmick alone. Um, see, the thing is with virtual reality, it makes a lot of people sick. The reason it makes people sick, and the people that have already uh, tested the Project Morpheus, uh, I believe they were from IGN, I think, they stated that it made them sick or feel nauseous and, or dizzy. And the reason because of this is because of the frame rate. If the frame rate can't stay steady and is low, you know, like let's say you can't maintain, I don't know exactly what the frame rate you have to maintain in order to keep people from getting sick is, but let's say it's like 40 frames. If you can't maintain 40 frames, then you're going to have an issue. And, uh, you know, you're going to get people, you know, getting dizzy and getting sick. Um, as far as PC goes, their, uh, their Oculus Rift should be fine just because the PC has limitless, you know, power to it. So, I mean, or virtually limitless power, as I said. And because of that, it should be able to keep up with the frame rate. So that's going to be fine. Project Morpheus, as far as I know, is only for the PlayStation 4. And PlayStation 4, you know, although it's an extremely powerful console... Um, when compared to PC, it's not really anything special. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody. And I don't want anybody to get mad at me because I said something about their piece of plastic and, you know, stone me to death or anything. Please don't. But, you know, that's just what I'm saying right here. Uh, so, I don't think it's going to perform that great. But I do think it's going to sell. Um, and that's why, pretty much. Uh, if you agree with what I have to say, uh, go ahead and put a like. If you don't, put a like anyways, please, because I really appreciate those likes. Um, but no, seriously, uh, leave a comment uh, down below if you have something to say, if you, you know, th disagree, if you agree, if you have some other piece of the news that I didn't cover right here as far as virtual reality goes, uh, you know, let me know. All right, this is Valiant Blaze, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.